Welcome to Forensic Detectives. We are presenting a professional combustion analyzer setup, folks. Pistol grip sample probe. It goes through the water trap, the Nox filter, and into our analyzer, folks. Large color screen has a built-in pump, so it draws the air, and it assesses carbon monoxide, oxygen, CO, EF, and excess air. Has a built-in magnet at the back. Large buttons to turn it on and off, and go through menu selection. It has a waterproof case that comes with it, so you pop everything in, and also comes with it a NIST certificate. Certified calibration certificate and also our English color manual. Everything's there for your professional combustion analysis. Have a great day. See you soon. Get straight to the unboxing of our Model 600 professional, professional combustion analyzer. Folks, check this out. Waterproof, dust proof, explosion proof, everything proof case look at this monster now check it out it has the two latches and it comes with cable ties okay and it has the pressure valve go ahead grab your clippers unclip the cable ties okay this assures that no one's tampered with it on the way now you could even use this as a shipping case just put your um, cable ties on and put your label on the front and you could ship this to anyone in your company um, anywhere in the United States or the world it will be protected okay that's the point of these expensive nice cases now go ahead unbuckle and open the situ now sometimes depending on the pressure this may be hard to open you have to open the pressure relief valve over here uh, typically that will not be the case so go ahead and open up the product folks check it out here we are dr Coz's friendly reminders please read it we have a nice little sticker for folks we have our english manual please read the professional combustion analyzer it's all here everything you need if not come to our website and we have of course our calibration certificate nist nist certified and traceable sources folks very important okay put that on the side now in the package we have our analyzer pop it right there we have our line kit our filter and water trap put that on the side we have our charger and usb cable and we have our specially designed check it out folks air sample probe pistol gun grip it is beautiful with of course the barb at the bottom okay folks bang you take your combustion flue measurement it goes through all the way through the filters so let's and look look at this folks see you got your uh, o-ring over there very important to make sure when someone says it's waterproof that means to me dr Cos, make sure you're looking for an o-ring of some type okay when someone says waterproof, that's what you're looking for in a case. Look for an O-ring. That's the only way it's going to actually be waterproof. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Let's grab the analyzer. Take it out of the bag here and press the on button. Okay, folks. Now, it's going to take about a 60-second countdown. Okay, there it is. 60-second countdown. And we're going to go through the features of our professional flu gas analyzer. Okay, folks. Now, as that's occurring, I'm going to show you how to set this up. We have our pistol gun we have our water trap and nox filter now go ahead and just um, unravel the silicone high temperature tubing okay you could go ahead and do that and also please make sure the unit's charged before you turn it on you want to make sure you plug it up and you charge the unit now the charging port on the analyzer is up above there so just make sure you unbuckle him pop in your usb connector and charge the unit okay so that comes with it and you're good to go right now we're not going to do that but we're going to show you how to set it up now check it out folks the water trap should be connected first onto the sample gun okay folks so just get your barb pop it in pretty straightforward okay now if you're gonna buy oh, that's too long you could just go ahead and cut it and you can customize the length as you wish. That's why I love these barb connectors, folks. Okay, we're not going to rip you off with special connectors and make your life difficult. Not at all. That's my pet peeve when companies do that. I've got barbs and we could cut, change, increase, decrease the length as we wish. Okay, it's all barb connected. And they're all solid connectors because we're using high-grade silicone. It's a solid connection. Okay, now on this end, as you can see, we're ready to go. We're going to pop it into the analyzer. And there you go. You have air being drawn through the gun, through the filter setup, and into the analyzer. It's as simple as that, okay, folks? Now, that is not difficult. That's the setup.
All right, so I've gone and magnified the camera so you can see the screen a little bit better. Now, what's going on first? We, we have our oxygen display, 20.9. We have our carbon monoxide display. We have our excess air and COAF. Everything on one screen. On the top, we have our battery indicator. We have our alarm speaker, if it's on or off. And we have that rotary fan, which is telling you that, yes, the micro pump is working. Everything's normal. The date and time. Okay, folks. Now, please read your manual, but I'll show you very quickly what's going on. If you want to stop the pump because you want to save some power, you're sort of on standby, just press that left button and turn off the pump. If you're setting um, your alarms, you could turn on and off and mute that function also, okay, folks? So for now, we'll turn off the alarm. Um, <clears throat> go to your menu, you could close down by shutdown, you could go into settings and you could do a lot of different things here. For example, one of the things people like to do is the backlight, they want it always on. You can do that, just keep bright, or you select five minutes, 60 seconds shut off, it's really up to you. If you want to save battery time, you reduce the time. If you don't really care and you just want it always on, um, that's the way I like it, I want to keep it bright. That's the way we do it. Um, so you go back to main menu, and then you have other functions such as your alarm set. You may be doing indoor air quality, and you want to set the alarm, for example, for carbon monoxide. You have your low alarm and your high alarm. You may want to put it low down to, let's say we want it down to 30. You see what I'm doing, folks? I'm moving it across with the cursor and changing the digits, and then I'm setting and saving. Quite straightforward, and it's quite intuitive. It's not that complicated, folks. Just play around and you'll get it. Um, record is recording. If there was any alarms, and you could see some that are there from the prior um, calibration that we've undertaken. Um, you got your gas zero baseline that you can do all by yourself, and your gas check, which is calibration. The passcode there is 1111. And don't forget, folks, I'm not going to do the calibration now, but go to our calibration page on our website, and we have step-by-step -step calibration of this unit, folks. Very easy. And your set time. Everything is there. Quite intuitive, folks, okay? So the point is, turn it on, and you're good to go. That's all you really need to do. Okay, when you buy this thing, it's all calibrated and good to go. Okay, so I got here a little setup to mimic a flu gas measurement. Okay, folks, what do I have? What's Dr. Cos put together here? Let's have a look. Well, I have a little container and I'm pumping in 100 parts per million of carbon monoxide with 10% of oxygen. Okay, it's mimicking an exhaust flu gas to some extent, okay? I'll keep that right there so you could see what's going on, or even better, I'm gonna put that on the stand that we sell here. We got our, um, our gas detector stands, okay? Now, we have our probe, and I've, in the container here, I've got a little hole that's gonna mimic my hole into my flue gas or my vent. Okay, I'm gonna pop that in, and you're gonna see these digits change, okay, folks? Now, I repeat, we have oxygen, depleted atmosphere with carbon monoxide. And before you do that, you know, I did show you, you connect it all up and everything's good to go, but you may want to just put your finger over and you could hear audibly that it's straining the pump and that assures that you have a good connection throughout, okay? Now let's pop that straight through in there and we should start to see after a few seconds, the number's changing. And that's how the excess air engages. Once we have less, I believe, um, we programmed at less than 20% of oxygen and CO, we start to get our calculations to start kicking in. That's the way it works. Now, we're not going to get exactly 100 ppm in this container because it's not a perfectly sealed container um, and it hasn't diffused and uh, replaced the air in this container. It's going to approximately come up to about 100. But as you could see, it gives you a good feel of the speed, the calculations, what's going on, and, and how it's operating. It's quite easy. You connect that up, you get your probe, bang, and you get your calculation. Now, what I recommend also customers do is take a picture of the screen for your customer. If you're a HVAC guy, a plumber, etc., just take a picture of this, and this will serve as the um, your record, your history record to show your customers, yes, that was the um, values we got for your flue gas. Okay, folks, now, as you could see with time, this um, it's approximating going up to 100 and nearly 10%. Um, so that's basically, folks, it's quite easy. There isn't much to it. It's quite intuitive and we've made it as simple as possible. All right, folks, be well, be safe and have a great day.